Hey guys, the saga continues. Velvet seemed to have left Solar again. He said she took all her stuff. She destroyed his things, destroyed his clothes. And he said he did a flip after she left because he's going to be happy after she's gone. Well, does that mean he's going to be just uh, running wild out there in Mexico with the hotties? We don't know. But he said he would never, ever, ever, but ever, did I say ever, take her back. She and Janae, because he said he realized neither one of them loved him. Although Janae has been pouring her heart out on the internet, he said, nah, she didn't love me. She just wanted me to control me and to possess me. And to say that, I'm paraphrasing, and to say that I'm hers, you know, just a good look on her arm. But she didn't love me. I said, oh my goodness, if she didn't love you, why did she get pregnant for you? Then he said, oh, she just wanted that baby. I said, well, I'm telling you ladies, before you go get pregnant for these guys, you got to make sure that he's the one. But apparently Solar wasn't the one for neither one of these ladies because both of them are pregnant right now. Both of them are going to be delivering babies. And he's out of the picture. He's gone because he said he don't want nothing to do with neither one of them. Now, we don't know what happened between he and Velvet. I know three, four days ago they were cool because they got out there on social media. She was laying on the bed saying that she and Solar are good. And even Solar was, Solar was professing his love and how he and Velvet are perfect together. And this is the one and she is the one. This is just three, four days ago. So what happened? I'm scratching my head. Oh, she and Solar are good. So what happened in three days time or four days time? You want to tell me that things were so bad that she walked out and left you and you said you were happier for it? But you guys know everything in social media these days. Relationships are built and end on, they ended on social media. Everything, as soon as you meet a person, you got to go on social media and announce it. And when it ends, you got to go on social media and announce the breakup. So Solar and Velvet situation is no different. Here's what Solar had to say. And I'm sure later on, Maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow. Velvet will put out a video concerning this matter. But here's Solar. This time around, what has happened was... I'm trying to find a way to talk about what's going on without throwing people under the bus. Because you got to understand that when you say you love somebody and you with somebody and, and you committed to them and things like that, and things don't go your way for a moment... Things don't go your way for, for whatever reason, right? And you just get up and leave these people. You just abandon everything. Just abandon ship, abandon ship, abandon ship, abandon ship. Every time you get mad, angry, sad, anything like that. Like, that's not healthy, y'all. Y'all can't do that in, in y'all partnerships. Like, you're not ready to be in a relationship. You're not. Or you shouldn't be with the person you're with, period. You see what I'm saying? I don't care what Shaka said on YouTube. What Shaka said isn't real because my love for Velvet is very real. My love for Janae is very real. Now, if that's true, why did he leave Janae? Because he's the one who left. He said that Janae asked him to leave and kick him out and throw him out and all of that. But he left. There's a difference. She did not leave. He left the apartment. So what he's saying right now, that you just don't walk away, does not hold true for the relationship he had with Janae because he's the one who walked away. Now, Velvet is the one who left his house in Mexico. So that's different. Velvet, to me, is looking for the next best thing, a little upgrade from Solar. And she's going to keep leaving him until she finds it. Now, she left. I wonder who she's with right now. Is she? Is, is it? That she found somebody new, or maybe it's an old flame that she went back to. I don't know. But she's looking to rest her head with those two kids she have and one on the way for somebody to take care of her. Because she's not working, and all these kids got to be fed and clothes and pampers and stuff. So I don't know what happened between her and Solar for her to leave, but it must have been major for her to pack up and go because this is a time of need for her because she's pregnant not working, don't have no type of income coming in as far as I know, except for the new YouTube stuff. But just a couple of days ago, both of them were saying how much in love they were 
and they're not going anywhere and Janae is not for real. And uh, he was saying Janae and his relationship was not the real deal. He and Velvet was the real deal. So I'm wondering, now they got me wondering, since Velvet is always leaving, are they doing this thing for clout? Is that it? Is she hiding somewhere in that house, being quiet while he got on the live and said they are, they have fallen out again just to boost the ratings? Is that it? Because I'm not even believing this story about they falling out. Because it seems like every two months, they back together on and off. Back together, on, together, off, on, off, like a light switch. And it just got me to thinking... This all most seem as if they're doing it to boost the ratings and they haven't left. So he says he's not taking her back or even if she begs him, calls him and begs him to come back like she did the last time. So if that's the case and if she keeps leaving and begging him to come back every time, then she's beginning to look crazy. Only a crazy person does that. But we know Velvet is very indecisive because she left Nature Boy about three times. And each time she went back. So we know she's a flip-flopper. She can't decide what she wants. She don't know where she want to be. And she really has very little dignity because there's no way I'm going to leave a man and go crawling back and then leave again and then go crawling back. And every time she leaves and come back, he said he would take her back. But he said not this time around. He's done. It's over. Now, he said Janae did the same thing. Every time she would leave him, she'd go live with some other man. And, you know, <laughs> Solar said he's very forgiving, but apparently he's not because he is, you know, when, when you put your strokes down on a piece of paper and you're crossing them out, he's crossing out how many times both of these women messed up because, you know, he just chronicled what they did to him. So I don't know if he really forgive them or if he was just venting because he's got to talk about how he felt the fact that they left him for other people periodically as a human being. He's going to talk about that hurt and that pain. I understand that. But did he really forgive them? So he said he's good. He's happy to be by himself, but I don't think he's going to be by himself for long. Because we know Solar, Solar got to shack up with somebody or somebody got to be with him. Because he's a man who wants polygamy and anybody who wants polygamy is not going to be by themselves for long. Because it's companionship they want. So we're going to see who comes into his life next and if Velvet is going to go back. Because if she is indeed gone, I don't think she's gone for good. Because we have seen this play before. This is nothing new. We have seen this rodeo before. It's nothing new to us. Well, let's listen to what Solar have to say. And I'm not going to tell you that that's their problem. They're going to tell you what their problem is. I don't really care what their problem is anymore. All I know is that I'm not in the business of disrespecting the people that I say that I love, even if we fall out. If I fall out with somebody, I'm not going to be like, well, I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's have sex, let's have sex, let's have babies, let's do all that. And then the moment something doesn't go your way, fuck that nigga, I hate him. Oh, I didn't do nothing, bro. I didn't do nothing to you, though. I didn't do nothing to you, though. You're mad because I'm not doing what you want me to do. I'm not being who you want me to be. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be myself. And who I am is peaceful, loving, and happy. Okay? I, I got to go. I do got to go. I'm going to make this quick. I got to go to Tulum right now. I'm about to go to Tulum, handle some business. Like, we up. Like, I'm, like bro, the moment she left, like... I did it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you all a funny story. The moment she left, I did a front flip in the house. I was just like, I'm free. I was like, I was like, just, she left, right? I'm like, are you, you're leaving? She didn't talk to me at all. Whatever. And I'm like, you're leaving? And I just walked from the door. I was just at the door and I'm like, walked away. And I just walked in here and I was like, huh? I just wanted to feel free, so I just did a little flip. I'm gonna try to do it with my jeans on. I feel free. So, so I was just like, Woo! I felt great. I felt great. I felt free. I was like, yo, I could do whatever I want. Being with a person that has a problem with me doing what I want was my fault and my poor decision. Right? 
We should all take responsibility for ourselves in relationships. If I break up with somebody or fall out with somebody, I'm not going to go online telling people everything that's bad about them and horrible about them because I probably don't really mean that. I'm probably mad or I'm probably angry because just a day ago, for weeks and for months and for months, it was love and love and love and love. I'm always letting people back into my life. Janae will leave and come back, leave and come back, leave and come back. Bobby will leave and come back, leave and come back, leave and come back. If I ever disrespected them the way they disrespected me, it'd be over. They would end immediately. They would end immediately. Y'all know that, right? But what do I got to do? I got to bite my tongue and tuck my tail to keep my children, to keep my child, to have a connection with my daughters and potential son. I got to bite my tongue and tuck my tail. I'm good on that. They don't have to realize one day what reality is. They don't have to realize one day what's really going on. They're going to have to take responsibility the same way, right? The same way that she was talking about Janae a minute ago, now she's doing the same things. I'm not mad at them because they hurt. Because they hurt. No, I'm not a little Lee Hill. I'm a lot of Lee Hill. Me and Nene got the same chart. Me and Nene got the same exact chart in astrology. My shit's just pivoted. My, he's Taurus 11. I'm Gemini 12. I'm literally just the next level. The next level. It sounds familiar because there's a lot of people going through this. That's why it sounds familiar. I'm just online. We just online. You understand? I need y'all to know something, man. I need y'all to know something. I operate from love, and I'm always going to move from love. I'm never going to do anything to ever hurt somebody on purpose, bro. I don't want to be nature boy, guys. I have no no connections, no desires, no wants, or anything to be like him. But you're saying that because you never got to know me. You never got to know me. From Wish. You silly, bro. You fuck. You said he nature boy from Wish. <laughs> you stupid as hell. That was good. Not at all, bro. Not at all. Because I actually operate, move, and live from love. That man did not. Massive difference. Massive difference. You can't tell? You can't tell? All right. Then you didn't know Eligio. Why are you trying to talk about me being like him? That means you didn't know him then. You either don't know me or you don't know him. It's one of the two. But we completely different. Even though we have the same chart. Yeah, here's my accountability. My accountability is that when she leaves and she walks down that, when she walks out that door, when she leaves and she walk out this door, right? And she walking down there to the elevator, right? And I'm like, bye, I love you. And then they're saying bye. I'm like, hey, the door's going to be open for when you're ready to come back. I come inside. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm not even noticing it. All my clothes is being torn up. I'm not even seeing that. I wasn't going to say anything, but it's fucked up. All my clothes have been torn up. Just finished spending all of our money. Just so I could secure us safely. Safely. 12 bands. Has nothing to do with Janae, y'all. I get money different than y'all. Okay? I do spiritual things and get spiritual rewards. So when he says spiritual things, I think before he had said he was a tarot card reader or some type of reader. So I think that's what he's talking about. I can't even use credit. My accountability is when they walk down and I say the door's open. When Janae leaves and goes to Musa's house. When she leaves my house, goes to Musa's house and come back. When, when, she, when, she, when, when she leaves me at the beach and then call Mente to go kick it with Mente. And I let them keep coming back into my life. My accountability is that I'm a motherfucking simp. I've been simping. Simping and no pimping. But I don't want to be a pimp. I don't need to be a pimp. I don't like pimps. For me, I know my value to myself. But when someone else comes around in my life, that I, I want to invest in, I care about, I love. 
I will sacrifice so much of myself to a detriment. I've been with two, I've had two serious relationships in my entire life, and that's Janae and Velvet. Those are the only two relationships I've had in my life. At first, he said the only two serious relationships in his life. So we're going to go on that. We're going to go that he only had two serious relationships, not two relationships, because we can't believe that he only had two relationships in his adult life. So we're going to go with the two serious relationships that he said first. I don't have anything negative to say about that. Me saying what has happened is different than me saying my opinion about them, okay? My opinion about them is that the same opinion I have about y'all is that we're growing and we're evolving and we need time and space. We need help. Sometimes I might not be there to help everybody, but I'm here to help who I'm supposed to help. You here to help who you're supposed to help. You see what I'm saying? Zoka was not a serious relationship. Zoka was... Zoka was a carbonation relationship. Zoka was a, a cold relationship. Zoka was having sex with another man every day. Zoka was having sex with another man every day. That was a cold, a sex cult thing. That was not a relationship, y'all. Just because my love was real in it, that's not a relationship. Definitely not a serious one. Just because I was in it 100%. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm not supposed to be doing that. And when I do do that, it should be with people who really do love me, who want to be around. In all of this, I feel sorry for the kids because two kids are on the way. Velvet already have two children and all these babies are going to be suffering. They're hearing and they're seeing all this drama. Because there's no way Eliana and the baby that the young child that Velvet have did not witness what went on. And in Janae's case, she says Solar can't see his child when she's born. So I feel sorry for the children because these adults are not thinking clearly. You lay down and made this baby with this man. These children were not asked to be born. They have a right to see both parents. Whether or not the parents don't agree or not, it has nothing to do with the child. Me, who don't need to change me, who don't need to cage me. And when they leave, they don't want to destroy me and destroy my life. And I've done nothing to you. And you're going to fail miserably trying to destroy my life. Miserably. Because I'm doing good. I have great karma. I'm doing nothing but making music and enjoying my life, y'all. I'm doing nothing but making music and enjoying my life. I'm living my best life. Then there's people like Shaka as well. And the moment I leave and I'm not there to invest in your business and what you're doing because it's out of alignment with me, now you got to go and sit on a couch and talk about me and my relationship? But you was just my friend a day ago? Bro, you spent money on me. You spent hundreds of dollars to help me. Why would you go online and then do that? You got pregnant by me. Why are you going to go online and try to defame the guy who's planted a seed inside of you? What? All right, I got to go. So I'm going to play this song. And I want you guys to know this. I want you guys to know this. I'm going to be doing, I'm raising my value and I'm raising my standards because I've realized everything with these relationships is that I have a certain value to myself. Certain people see me with a certain value, and they're like, dude, what are you doing? You look crazy, bro. You look nuts, man. Why are you doing this, man? Well, the truth is, what you're trying to tell me is that, why are you in this relationship? You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be in that. You could do better. You should be doing this. You should focus on yourself. You should go get your bag. Y'all been trying to help me. And my, my dumb ass has been like, no, I want to be in love. I want my babies. I want my children. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But why do it with people who don't really love me? And this is another problem I'll admit to is that I kind of always knew that. I kind of always knew Janae didn't really love me. I kind of always knew Velvet didn't really love me. 
So know that door will not be open for you ever again. It's locked now. You don't get to apologize and come back. I don't care how pregnant you are. Whoa. You're single? You, are you looking for another guy? Whoa. Have fun. Y'all have fun. Whoa. God's going to work out what he need to work out for me to have my children in my life. You fuck around and I get motherfucking ownership of my children. You play around with me. Play around with the universe, bro. Try to play with God. No, Janae really desired me. She really, she really wanted me. She didn't love me. She didn't love me. She desired me. She wanted me. And she wanted that child that she said she always wanted. Every time she went to carbonation having sex with other men, she wanted me. Right? Well, if all this here is true, what Solar is saying, and he wanted polygamy, how can he now complain that Janae had these multiple partners in carbonation when he himself said it was a sex cult. So everybody was having sex with each other. So you can't hold that against her now. The same with Velvet. If she left you to go to be with another man, you can't hold that against her because that's the climate you guys live in. This polygamous relationship climate where everything and anything goes. You can be with whoever you want to be with. So you shouldn't be mad and say you're not going to take her back because it's polygamy. Polygamy is very forgiving. You can go out there and have sex with whoever you want to, and you can be forgiven. So it sounds to me like if Solar wants to do polygamy but on his own terms, when these women are demanding how they want it, they want whatever man they want, then it's a problem. But that's when you choose that type of lifestyle. These are the things that comes with it. Where your mate is not going to be faithful and they're going to be hopping from man to man then coming back to you. So folks, this is just a hot mess that Solar, Velvet are wrapped up in. Seems as though they got out of carbonation physically. But their minds are still bounded to the philosophies of carbonation. So YouTubers, we're going to keep our ears to the ground with this story. And whatever I find out, I'll let you guys know. I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Remember to hit the like button if you coming on or leaving the page. It's best to do so when you come on the video so you can get it out of the way. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm over and out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.